Welcome back everybody and thank you for joining us in Let's Chat Survivor we'll, where we will be discussing um, Survivor Cambodia Second Chance Episode 1 and we are glad that this started we we were waiting for it all summer long what was your thoughts on this um, Mark when you first saw the, the episode start? Uh, first of all the, the view of, of uh, Cambodia is just kind of it's just really beautiful <laughs> Uh, just, just watching them walking through some of the sites that, that there were, and I think that that was really exciting for me. Did you uh, did you get a feeling that they were kind of led out of out of to the middle of those temples just so they can get the view of them? It didn't look like they were on their way to the to the boats. <laughs> I, that's why. I'm sure they were very separate shots, but, but yeah, yeah it, they, they, they try to edit it together so that the, it looks like they were going through the ruins and then straight into the boats to, mm -hmm. to the opening of the show. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> very beautiful. We get, yes. um, we get this montage of, of, of course, the one that the, the montage that they had released early, um, the first nine minutes. And we get a couple of players um, talking about their mistakes at the previous episodes, and two two of the ones that I really like. Uh, first, um, my first uh, pick in my in the draft was Tasha talking about how she tried to act a certain way because that's what she thought people wanted to see. Um, however, when she got back home, they're telling her, "Why did you? Why didn't you lie? Why didn't you uh, d do this and that?" So now she's saying she's gonna adjust to that. And uh, my second, my second or first, I'm not sure, is actually with Abby Maria, who is talking about her mistakes of throwing coconuts at Scoopin's head, and um, she's saying she's not gonna do it again. She's gonna try to fix that. Um, what did you think? Uh, did you, was there anyone specific um, little little talk here at the beginning that, that you liked? Uh, I, I think they really tried to focus on Wigglesworth. Uh, because she she was she was the the player out of this season from the earliest season as well so they tried to put the focus on her and and yeah she she sounded like uh it really it, it really affected her what happened back then but she didn't it doesn't look like she really cared <laughs> <laughs> yeah um it, it, was, it was a nice little thing. I would have liked to see a couple other people, but it was it was a good start to the show. Uh, yeah. so, so we see the players uh, get in, into these boats, and they they paddle out to where Jeff is on his little uh, bigger boat, um, and he tells them, "Hey, uh, we're starting the game already. You guys are these are the two tribes, Takeo and and Bayon, and let's go ahead and start." <laughs> and um, we we already went through the different the different um, tribes already to kill and the beyond and who was in them, and mm -hmm. he tells them that they are gonna do their first little impromptu um, challenge in getting them to jump off their existing boat, get on top of the one he's on, and have a mad scramble for the supplies. Uh, do you like this uh, start to the to a season like this? I, I really like it. It's it's the classic marooning. It's when they just just throw them onto a boat full of supplies, and they just have to take what they can. And they put a little twist into this marooning because they 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 have this little bag of rice on a separate little boat, like far off away from the main boat. And and whoever grabs the bag signifies the end of the marooning, and and they have to uh, head off in, into their camps after that. Uh, it was it was really funny that one shot when when they almost hit probes in the head with yeah. I think it was it was like a it was like a bundle of logs. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it was it was a bundle of ba bamboo and um, yeah, I think it was was it Steven that did that? <laughs> I, I'm, somebody, I think somebody it was did it. I, yeah. I, I thought it would have been funny if they just clocked him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> start let's start again. Oh, what would they, what have they done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we see Takeo is the first one to get onto their raft to try to go out and and um, get this bag of rice, and um, we see Wiggleworth right away jump into the water and she's leading the way for a big portion of this. And Bayon is having trouble giving getting onto the raft, trying to keep it up afloat. You can see it drag, um, you know, starting to sink and. 
and it's not until I think it was Steven who says, "Can someone swim it?" And Joe's Joe's gets to the front and decides to jump in. And Wigglesworth is still ahead of everybody. I thought she was gonna go ahead and just get they there did. before, yeah, before yeah. everybody. But I, it looks like she she gas gas gases out and um, Wu jumps in and uh, and saves the day for Takeo. I mean, it it was still very impressive what what Wigglesworth did. Yeah. I mean, yeah, she's she's no spring chicken, no. <laughs> and, and and for her to to just just jump in there and and go that far out before we save before we save today, I think that was I was I was impressed. Yeah. I was impressed with her physical abilities. Uh, T Bird uh, was tweeting that she was impressed by that, and I go, I thought she was gonna beat everybody. I thought she was gonna beat everybody <laughs> out there on her own. It really and, looked that way. Yeah, it did. So you know we get we get to the camps already, um, and Wiggles I call her Wiggles Wigglesworth starts to right away starts to starts hit, hits the beach and starts working. Who else starts working? It's Terry's on there working on shelter, um, but he's Ooh. Woo Woo and um, and even Jeff is there working, um, yeah. and. Terry says something that he is going to be the hard worker. He's pretty much an old school type of player, but he really, really wants to work on his social game. Something that that really he wasn't that strong in in Panama, and yeah. he knows he needs to work on it. He talks to Vitas, talks to Spencer um, about about this, and he's really it looks like he's working, but he's really more more talking about what he wants to do, not really talking about strategy. Um, yeah. What did you think about his, him talking to these people uh, right off the bat? I, I I think it's a good start for Terry. Uh, he also had a confessional where his his where his wife told him not not to let anybody walk off alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is why he's over here trying to grab him <laughs> grab on everybody. And, yeah, yeah. And then uh, right off the bat, you know, we talked about uh, Abby and Maria saying that she doesn't want to make the same mistakes over and over again. However, right off the bat, she's already lost the bag. She's lost the bracelet, and she's already throwing the 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 fault of this to one of our favorites, which um, which Pagey. I can't say her name. Sorry. Uh, P- PG, <laughs> PG. Um, tomato, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she, she, right away, she throws a blame on her. Um, she she's really looking looking for it, and then she finds it. But I find it a little suspicious that she was able to just reach in and find it just because she, I don't know if you remember seeing it. She looks down, she's yeah. the bad, picks it up and just rips it out like nothing. So yeah. there's been a couple of things that people have been saying about what happened here. Um, somebody says that um, somebody, maybe somebody planted it there to try to get Abby to um, blow up, to, you know, to, to, to cause trouble. Someone's, some people are saying that maybe PG, um did it on purpose hit it on purpose to try to get her to blow up um <laughs> however i don't know i i kind of i kind of want to take a third way saying that maybe abby just hit it somewhere so that she can have a reason <laughs> to blow up because she seems to like like the drama like like this um either way it did cause the drama she wanted um yeah. A little bit, maybe a little bit too much for for her comfort at the beginning. Either way, because she was trying to change it. Uh, what do you, what do you think of, about that bracelet? <laughs> that bracelet took up like almost the entire episode. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I was tweeting about it. And I was just like hashtag million dollar bracelet because <laughs> it's gonna cost a lot of people the million dollars. Uh, just just the fallout from from her losing that bracelet and then. Finding it in somebody else's bag, it, I, I mean, I'm really worried for Paige right now because she's she's bearing she's bearing the brunt of it, and and I, I it's making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really become like a twenty first twenty uh, first castaway already the, the bracelet because it's yes. become a, it's become a character already in just the very <laughs> first episode. Um, but I mean, we'll see what where where it goes from there. So yeah. in in the episode we switch over to to Bayon, and um, we see Cass and and Tosh uh, working together, talking together, mm-hmm. and and in our previous show I I was saying that Cass was gonna just hit the ground and start running and working, and she talks about how she played, but she says that she wants to do a different type of game, she wants to 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 
work on relationships, but she also likes the way she was before. <laughs> she likes yeah. she likes the chaos. Um, how do, what do you think about about Cass's uh, game uh, at the beginning? Uh, I think she's starting up pretty well here. As long as she's not causing any arguments, I think she'll be fine. She can leave Chaos Cast alone until like the merge, <laughs> when when she pre pretty uh, when she'll need it, yeah, to to break up other people's games. Yeah, I was surprised at how calm she was, at how um, how she wasn't trying to cause anything right away. But uh, she would didn't do that really at the beginning of the, for her first game. So, so we'll see mm -hmm. how that goes. Now, uh, yeah. next thing we see is Keith and how he's working, um, and he's talking to Jeremy, and they patch up what 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 might have been broken in in uh, their season in San Juan de Sor. Del Sur. And um, not only do we see them talking to each other, we see them come into agreement that they're gonna they're gonna work with with each other. Um, but we also see Jeremy just go on a go on a on a on a rampage here on work and actually getting making alliances, not not getting into a fight like that. But he gets he talks to Keith, yeah. talks to Tosh, talks to uh, Sav Savage, um, and even talks to Doe, who he can he calls a human shield. Um, he's working. He's he also, he's working it. Yeah, he also mentioned that he wanted to work with fish fishback as well. So he I, that, that's a that's a big alliance. That's that's a six person alliance. He says you might want to work with him, but he's not too too uh, doesn't trust um, fishback. Neither does Savage and oh, Sa Savage. Oh yeah, oh. Savage. We'll we'll have plenty to talk to him in, in the next couple of episodes. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Savage right away tells a story about how his daughters are in love with Joe, and how they think he's perfect. Uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think he this is something that happened for real, or partially happened for real, and he decided to use it to try to gain Joe's trust, or um, what? Do you, what do you think? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to gauge Savage. Uh, at this point because it, it seemed like he was genuine about what he was talking about uh, but he's doing it very strategically he's trying to get in good graces with the people he knows that's gonna that's gonna matter uh, when it when it comes to to votes and and things like that so yeah and 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 you know getting in good with Joe gets you lots of screen time as well so that doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like well, like we said, uh, it looked like Joe was going to be someone that they will work with, um, if even for a little bit. And just like we had said in the previous show, Jeremy called him a human shield. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean, um, we the next thing we see is Stephen um, really, really struggling to fit in out there, um, and he even he even coins himself a fish buck out of water. Or fish back out of water, <laughs> and I feel like he's getting a real similar edit to his first season, in the first episode at least, where he's not fitting in, where he's worried about everybody else. Uh, what do you think about that? I mean, it's deja vu all over again for Fishback, mm -hmm. and I I kind of really feel for him though because you know uh, you, you would think that he would go back in back in there and he would know what to do and he he would just kind of meshing really well with the other players because he's probably talked about a lot of them or even interviewed a lot of them or uh and things like that and, and so you think he would be pretty good but he's just kind of off to the side off like like in his own little corner and, and i'm like really <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and then yeah. He, and then um like i said i i feel he's getting a similar edit i've seen some um in instagram video where he's actually it looks like he's getting along with Kimmy and a lot of people. So I don't I don't know if it's just the edit or maybe he was a little bit paranoid at the beginning because uh, we do see him go um, go out later on to to look for that idol. But uh, we'll talk about that uh, when he, when we talk a little bit later on about that. But uh, you yeah. know um, I, I don't know um, I I think he needs to calm down, uh, relax. Um, 
I told uh, I, I tweeted that I wanted to just reach into the TV and give him a Xanax because he just it looks like he was just overthinking it. He's he I think he's just yeah. taking it from from his analytical view. He's always he's analyzing these people, analyzing strategy. He and he's just overworking it right now. But he's, um, he 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 just thinks a lot, and yeah. and I I think that's just natural to him, and 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 when you're out there initially and there's just so much going on, I think a person like him would would have to take a minute step back and 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 try to observe what is going on yeah you know that's also how he gets his info yeah yeah mm -hmm. so in in the episode we roll back to kale and we see vetus uh really starting to talk to everybody in, on the tribe um he re uh, shireen doesn't really like the way um he played the first time around um, and he see she says that he she thinks that he's playing the same type of game as the first time around um, she talks to to uh, Jeff Varner and to Spencer about this and mm -hmm. she really really this is where you really see how much of a fan Shireen is and how analytical she is she just yes. starts pointing out the connections between Vetus and Terry Vetus and pretty much everybody on that tribe and then mm -hmm. not only on that tribe uh, points out the the connections on every on for everyone pretty much that he knows on the other tribe as well and yeah. and Jeff is just like whoa <laughs> um so far slow we, down <laughs> yeah and so far Jeff has given us the best interviews what what do you what do you think of of Jeff's interview so far oh Jeff's confessionals are are some of the best that we've seen in years and mm -hmm. yeah and and, and everybody feels this way it's like why haven't they gotten Jeff back earlier mm -hmm. you know in earlier season and why why now why not earlier and and the, his just his confessionals from this ep first episode just just kind of proves to us that he deserves the shot that that he really knows what to do and within the game I'm yeah and, and and make the audience engaged as well yeah, and maybe it was perfect timing for it to come back now because now he has this. I feel like he's more inter interactive. He he wants to be more of a social, um, more and play the game. Actually, play the game because he was in the first second season, um, so it wasn't that much. Like like they said, it's old school. They were building. There was it's about survival. It's about the the experience of the game, and now. What, what do they say? They have the beach people and they have the shelter people, where the shelter people are the old school and the beach people are the new school. Shelter is sort of all about survival, all about the experience. The new school or the beach people are all about strategy. Uh, they don't really care about shelter. They want to strategize. They want to break into little groups and try to figure out who's going to vote out before they even go to the first challenge. And, uh, yeah, I mean... And you see the you see the the divide at least on at least on this tribe. Um, I don't see too much on Bayon. Do you? No, not not too much. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that that continues. <laughs> um, now, we we see Ab Abby Maria uh, finding the brace like we talked about earlier, and mm -hmm. and she says she's not gonna talk about it too much, but she goes and makes a big deal about it. Um, oh yeah. And and, it, and it, that's where pretty much F uh, Fiji is trying to diffuse it, and but Abby Maria's character is that's just the way she is. She's real. She's real fiery. Uh, yeah. She likes the drama, and uh, she causes she she causes a big thing. And like you said before, uh, that's when I started feeling like, oh no, this is not good. Yeah, not good for our favorite. <laughs> not good for one mm -hmm. of our favorites. Yeah. So. Um, Back at Bayon, uh, we see Joe and uh, Savage and a couple of people there uh, huddled around Joe, actually, uh, yeah. where Joe is trying to make this fire, and they're like, come on, come on, and then Joe gets the spark, gets the fire, and everybody's like, oh my god, Joe, <laughs> uh, you know, they're really, really uh, worshipping Joe right now. Uh, he's really good at, at what he does on, on camp. Um, what do you feel about Joe so far in the game. I think I think Joe is just enthusiastic to be out there and, and he likes, you know, being out in the wild and, 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 and doing all this stuff. Uh, what he doesn't see is that this is making him a prime target for people that think he's gonna be a strategic 
for social threats. Uh, and and it's it's gonna it it will bite him. <laughs> yeah, I think it, yeah. I think it'll bite him in the back in the in the butt mm-hmm. later on. So yeah. this is the point where while everybody's holding around trying to get that fire, this is where Steven's out looking for the idol, and yeah. he goes into very questionable pond. <laughs> it looks really dirty pond, and mm-hmm. in hopes that he might find the the idol, doesn't find it. Um, oh. And but everybody pretty much knows what he's doing. They know. Yeah. Uh, he's pretty looking for the idol, and then he. I mean, can, he's he's out there by himself. I mean, yeah. he's the only one not at the camp where where everything is happening. So, yeah. of course, they will be suspicious. Yeah, and then he even says, "Oh, stupid Stephen," uh, but <laughs> I mean, he knows he knows uh, what to do, and after a while, I think he knows. Oh man, that was not that was not smart. Uh, oh. So I think it just take it, 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 he needs to buy himself time to be able to sit, sit back and think about what he's doing, not just try to go out there. Yeah. So um, day two is when we figure figure out that um, Vetus and and Kelly Wigglesworth are kind of have of a bond, and this is where we get the edit in in the show where both tribes are doing yoga, and yeah. um, or the way. Tosh coined Joga, um, and we'll get to that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and um, at the same time, we see Jeff really struggling out at, at camp. He says that this game is a lot faster than what he learned, remembered. He's laying on laying on the the floor of the of their shelter, and I just remember this is deja vu to me um, to his first <laughs> way uh, the day out there on the outback. Where he's throwing up, he's he says he doesn't know what he's gonna do. So I, yeah. I go, uh, it's it's a deja vu for him, um, and I I think he really really recovers really quickly. He goes mm-hmm. out there to wa- in the water and talks to to Paige. and mm-hmm. this is where he tells her about the divide and the shelter and the beach people, yes. and he's I, I think he's really fast at it, being able to solidify. And become a unit with with Fiji, where if one votes one way, they they'll, they'll both vote that way. So I think mm-hmm. he has a, a two person with her. He's able to, to solidify that the alliance with her. Mm-hmm. Um, anything that you 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 can think about right now going on in Takeo that that alarms you, that surprises you, um, with with Jeff, with with anybody there. Uh. Jeff says he can't keep up with the game, but as of this point, he he is really like the strategic master yeah. on Takeo, and 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 he's put himself in a really good position along with Hey G, and I think that's really impressive for somebody who says they they're so out of it, and, and this is mm-hmm. hitting him like a ton of bricks. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I I I think that's really impressive. Jeff's going to be one of the players to watch this season for sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I like the way he's playing so far. He says, he, like you said, he said he's it's um, it's too fast for him, but I think he's adapting pretty pretty good at this moment. Um, yeah. So we we start talking to um, we see Kelly actually going out there and talking about her second chance, how she didn't really have a chance to play, and going out and scavenging for for branches for leaves for you know things for the shelter but she's doing yeah. it in a way where she's leaving a little path but she's actually looking for this sh- for the idol and oh yeah d- did you see was she did she f- see look for the idol and find it or was she just passing by and then she's like oh there it is no um, she's using she's using the uh she she's using the the, the, the gathering time as kind of a Kind of a cover so that she could just she is out there looking for she's actively looking for the idol because mm-hmm. she knows she's gonna need it uh to for the game and and so she she tells the others she's gonna go out and get get, get branches and and wood and, and and coconuts and stuff and but she's actually just looking for the idol yeah and and she finds what she believes to be the idol she gets all happy she does yeah, her she, version <laughs> she does her version <laughs> of the happy dance <laughs> the happy dance <laughs> And what yeah. is she, what does she find in the on the on when she opens it up? 
Oh, she was so sure she found it, and when, when she when she when she got the package in her hand, uh, and then she opens it, and then it's 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 not the idol; it's a clue <laughs> to the idol, and on the clue to the idol, it it basically uh, has a drawing of the challenge that they're gonna go into, and it shows her exactly where the idol is hidden within the immunity challenge. Which is uh, the, I think one of the best uh, changes to the game right now, is that they yeah. have to try to figure out when to get that idol, and um, before we go courtesy to of Dalton Ross, Dalton Ross, yes, Dalton Ross, Dalton yeah, Ross, shout out to you, Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so before we head out to the to the um, to the immunity challenge. We see the tree mail come in, and Kimmy gets it, and they read that it's going to be Quest for Fire, the very first uh, challenge that it was ever run on Survivor, on Survivor um, um, Borneo. I was, I was already slipping my mind. Survivor Bor Borneo, and Andrew gets the troops together, and you know, and he gathers them, and, he, and he's rallying them, and um, this is in the area where, I, where they're doing the yoga. Uh, before uh, before we get to that, uh, uh, this is also the place like be right before the uh, immunity challenge is also where we get all the yoga stuff from both tribes. Yes, yes. I was to say, uh, uh, yeah, we get yoga from from Tosh. Yoga. And Tosh, like I said, Tosh is one of my picks to to go far in the game. And yeah. as soon as she's as soon as that happened, I remember I I tweeted her, "No, Tosh, don't look at him. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the game." <laughs> she and, really enjoyed that view. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> So she, uh, yeah, she even retweeted me uh, that, and she and she put LOL. Uh, but I told her, don't do it. Yeah, um, hashtag yoga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get, and, and this is also, yeah, we also get a view of Vetus uh, yeah. at Takeo trying to teach people yoga, trying to say, oh, how's your body doing, and all, all, all that, all Every, that goodness. Shireen, Kelly. Abby, they all fit, see him as as creepy, right? Or at least as inappropriate. Yeah. Did you did yeah. you pick up a creepy vibe from him? I really see, I really didn't pick up a, pick up a creepy vibe from him. I just think he's a little awkward in his social interactions. No, but, I think one of the camera angles is just really weird when he was doing his pelvic thrust in his underwear, mm -hmm. like towards Abby Maria. <laughs> I think that was that was that that was a. Uh, that that didn't really help his case. <laughs> I think he just had a really poor choice of underwear <laughs> to wear out there. Oh, oh, that underwear. Yeah. Oh gosh. So I I think I don't really think he was trying to be creepy. I think the edit was a little bit made him a little bit creepier than he really was. It is just uh, I think it was just people didn't really like him. Shireen got into people's heads <laughs> saying that they needed to get him out. And oh yeah. And we see Terry talking about targeting Abby in case they lose, but Vitas is the one um, that, that says that if he feels in danger, he will have no qualms about going after Abby. Um, and really, that's what the last thing we we really see before the, we go into the into the mute, uh, into the immunity challenge. So yes. we get to the immunity challenge, and what what is immunity challenge, uh, Mark? It is the classic Quest for Fire, the very first immunity challenge in Survivor history. Uh, the sequel, basically. <laughs> the sequel, uh, where they have this little raft with a, with a fire in the middle, and they have to swim to shore and light up uh, these pots on the way. And once they get to shore, they have to carry the raft with a fire on it with them and light up more torches. Uh, and then rest... Uh, the raft on on this little this little tripod thingy, and and then go and light the final fire, which will signify their win. And within these these tripods, where they're gonna rest the raft, is where that hidden immunity idol that um, Kelly found the clue for was was gonna be hidden. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so the the, the challenge um, starts. Of course, Jeff points out that that Kelly Willsworth was part of this uh, originally yes. um, and it starts and it, 
it looks like Takeo is going to go ahead and just walk away with it. Spencer gets a torch mm-hmm. for, for Takeo. Uh, Keith yeah. gets a torch for Bayon. And right almost right away, Keith loses the, the his fire, right? He, uh, it goes yeah, out. he dips it in the water and it goes out and he tries to light it. He tries so hard to light it again and it just wouldn't go. And I think Takeo is already on the third or fourth um, station already and Bayon is barely getting to the second one because he's because Keith was just able to get that fire started again. Yeah. And um, so they get to the beach. Kelly, uh, Wigglesworth is already trying to get the key before Bayon even gets to the to the island, to the beach. Mm-hmm. And um, they have to do this, uh, tie in these bundle of sticks uh, where that they have that gate. And they have to get, yeah. they have to try to get the key to get to get it out. And Kelly is already already trying to get the key when when Joe starts to work the same thing for for Bayon, and she's too short. It's too short. It doesn't get there. And Joe's just being being the superstar that he's he is, just going at it. And um, at this point, Spencer jumps in to try to to reach the key. And now they're both trying to reach the key, and. We see Joe get the key, and that pretty much solidifies their win. Because once they get through, it's all they have to do is go and light the last the last torch. And and Spencer's still trying to get that key. And um, yeah, and Takeo loses. Bayon wins. And one of the little things that ha- that changes this year, uh, or um, I guess twist was that. Takeo's going to go to Tribal Council immediately. No time to go back to the camp. No time yeah. to 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 um, huddle up the troops or trying to figure out what to do. They're going to go ahead and, and vote someone off. But first, uh, one of the most impressive things that we've seen during this immunity challenge are are the shots of Kelly Wiggles uh, Wentworth uh, keep on peeking back at keep on peeking back at the tripods. Keep on trying to trying to figure out where that idol was and. Trying to stare at it and, and, and fighting because she's like, oh crap, I, I, I passed it, <laughs> I, I, I missed it, and, and what the hell am I going to do? And while they're basically working on the jailbreak, uh, she kept on looking back at it and be like, maybe, maybe, should I? Uh, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> and, and there are lots of shots of, of, of Wentworth trying to look back, trying to find a good place, and, and you see her slowly creeping, creeping backwards and back, more and more backwards. and towards where the idol was and finally finally <laughs> at, at a key point during the challenge she she just she's just like ah f it and she she just she just goes in there and re- reaches for it and, and and then comes right back with it and tucks it in her pants i was like yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes I, I i actually was like oh come on do it <laughs> i didn't think she was yeah, gonna do no. it um and it was it, it was to the point where during this challenge I I tweeted I I've been tweeting back and forth with other people on on talking about Survivor and even with the the cast I'm like oh my god Kelly you're gonna give me a heart attack just do it or don't I do know, it I know I know the 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 editors really really yeah pull one over us and and we're just like it was really breathtaking when she when she took it and she rated yeah. to the the perfect moment to where Bayon couldn't see to Kale didn't see. She's the only one that knows it was there. Yeah. And I know people have been asking if, if some, someone from Bayon would have seen her, if they would have gone to look. I don't think no. the idol was uh, was going to be there. No, because uh, Bayon did not find the clue to the idol, so the mm-hmm. idol was not there for Bayon to find at the challenge. See, and this is this is what 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 um what's the 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 good thing about this is that they won't be able to just go look for it just because they saw her they need to be looking for that idol if they, they don't look for that idol they're not gonna they're not gonna even know where where to look yeah i wonder if it's gonna be the same place either way though um even if, they, if go- it is i'm pretty sure it's gonna be at the same place yeah. uh yeah uh it's gonna be at the same same tripod basically uh it's just easier for them to manage honestly yeah. for so, yeah for production so the new twist pays off right away. Um, perfect moment. I, I don't know if they may have wanted it to go right away. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, it was perfect editing, perfect timing, perfect everything for Kelly. Uh, do you think that there's going to be more idols out there? From what I heard, I thought maybe yes, but I don't know. What do you What do you think? Uh, not for Takeo, but uh, if Bayon finds 
another clue, then Bayon will have another shot at it at the next challenge. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and uh, so like we said before, uh, they're gonna go to tribal now. Uh, Kelly has an idol. She puts it in her in, in her um, back pocket mm -hmm. and uh, doesn't even get a chance to look at it because there there they go. They're going to yep. tribal council right mm -hmm. off right after the challenge. Like I said, no no strategy talk, nothing. They're going nothing. right into it. So they get to tribal council, council, and um, Spencer right away starts talking about the pressure of being second chancers. Um, they, he talks about the talk of the division of old school versus new school. Yes. Uh, do you do you think they're really surprised about this? Um, I I don't I don't I think that was something that was already hinted at before <laughs> beforehand. I mean, I, I think they knew what they were getting into, but uh, it was still a little shocking because it, it's, it's more shocking for the old schoolers to experience the new game in person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and um, Terry says it's, it's going fast, and it's fast, and he's surprised at how fast it starts now. It mm -hmm. starts as soon as it hit the, hit the beach. Yeah. And, um, and I think Jeff says talks about Vitas, not only do you have a, someone who's played the game, you have someone who has played the game and won and beaten Terry <laughs> and, and his brother. And Vitas says, I can't go home and not beat Terry. I will never live it down. Yeah. Right? And uh, what do we hear about Wu? Wu doesn't even know what he's doing. Uh, Wu doesn't know who he's going to vote for at this time. Do you, does that surprise you? Wait, Wu is there? <laughs> 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 See, it, it, that's the thing. He says he doesn't know who who's gonna who's gonna vote for who who's been talking, but Abby says that he's given away his answer at that point already, saying that they're gonna vote for her, and she really really starts to dig a grave for herself, um, and, and just talking really paranoid, um, saying that she knows they're gonna vote for her, she knows they're gonna vote for her, and. Mm -hmm. What, what do you think? Do you, you, do you think that um, she could have this could have changed anything for her or against her for her, or I mean that usually doesn't work <laughs> when you try to blow up someone's game up like that. Uh, I mean, even if they didn't have the time, have the time to scramble, there were already preset plans going into the immunity challenge, uh, and so I think some of these people's mindsets are pretty much solid. By the time they get to uh, by the time they get to the vote, yeah, and so it's almost right after this. Uh, all we know is uh, Varner says that he hasn't he hasn't been able to sleep because of all the strategy talk, and then Jeff says it's time to vote. They go to vote, and the votes come back, and we see Abby, Vita, you know, and, and it, Vitas, and it, and it starts going, and then it's Vitas, Vitas, and Vitas goes home. Six to four, our very first boot. And what were your thoughts when we saw Vitas go home? Uh, like before they go into vote, Jeff went to uh, Paige and Wigglesworth mm -hmm. and, and confirmed with them that they were going to do what they discussed back at the beach before the challenge. And they confirmed with him. And so uh, so they, they went ahead. Uh, with how they voted, uh, and I think this was the time when Jeff figured out it was going to be a five-five vote, um, and he really did not want that. <laughs> 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 no way, am I going to go home to another tie? Says Jeff, <laughs> yeah. and and at this crucial moment, Jeff decides to flip, uh, voting out Vitas instead of Abby Maria. Did it surprise you that he that he um, switched over? Uh, no, it actually uh, it, it definitely did not. It, uh, maybe a little bit, maybe initially a little bit, but, but you know it's it's Jeff. I mean, yeah, he he came in ready to play. He's going to do whatever he needs to do in order to further himself in the game, and so that did not. In that regard, that didn't shock me as much. It really, really goes to show that he studied what he what went what his downfall was the first time around in the tie yeah. um he does not want to go down the same way he really does not want to even 
come close to it, so he changes his yeah. vote. Um, I mean, he knows that everybody thinks Vetus is a threat, mm -hmm. and so he's just gonna go along with it so that they wouldn't suspect him. Uh, and 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 I, I think I think that's a good that's a good strategy to go by. Just 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 go with the group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I know every I know Twitter blew up, and people were being really surprised that Vetus was the first boot. No one no one saw this coming. Yeah, um, nobody. You you had Abby Abby Maria going out first. I had Cass going out first. Mm -hmm. um, you were a little bit closer <laughs> to to being I right. Was so close. Yeah, <laughs> and um, so yeah. Do you have any closing thoughts uh, on this first episode? Uh, I think this this boot like getting rid of Vitas, and when when Bayon sees that they've gotten rid of Vitas, it's it's gonna change the whole tone of the game, and it, it's pretty much game on from from this point on, and and people who thought that 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 they have a good are gonna have to think again. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Um, one of my favorite, my, one of my favorite premiere episodes. Um, like I had said, I was By really far. pumped up, pumped about the mm -hmm. season. It's very hard to pick who you think is gonna go out next because you don't want any of them to go home. You feel so c connected to these people because they you've seen them before. They're fan favorites. Maybe not all of them, but. Um, you, it's really hard to, to even see the people that you may not root for going home because of their position in the game. And yeah. um, as far as for for episode two, um, I think we're both in the consensus that that we're, we had uh, we're thinking that Abby Maria is going to be going home on on week two. Um, if that's if Takeo loses immunity challenge, and they just got rid of a physical. Like like a, they just got rid of their their their, their challenge beast and mm -hmm. and so that might be a big step back for them. Yeah, uh, the the next logical thing would be to be to get rid of someone who is weaker, who's not going to help them out in the challenges mm -hmm. in, in yeah. Abby Maria, and it it would be it would be that. And the only reason I think we're both on on consensus of that is because we saw the the previews to the to the following week, and it's Abby versus. PG again, and they're fighting. Yeah. They're going at it, uh, and uh, th she's the only one I can really see that would go go home between them two. Um, yeah, for next week. Um, yeah, so that was episode one. Um, I loved it. <laughs> and, it was great, and yeah, and and you did pretty well in the, in the draft as well because Kelly found that idol for you. <laughs> so uh, right now, where do we stand in? Um, with the fantasy draft and the fan fantasy survivor, uh, the fantasy draft, uh, it's survivors fourteen uh, over Markopia eight. So, have a little bit of an advantage there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I think we had talked about uh, my um by Bayon um heavy, so I'm getting more points for them being yeah. safe for the from the vote, mm -hmm. and of course Kelly finding the idol. But yes. um, yeah, um, we'll. We'll leave it at we will leave it there. We'll go ahead and, and we'll getting ready for for episode two. We'll go ahead and go go and watch it, and um, we'll be back to go ahead and, and uh, analyze episode two. Um, you guys, let us know what you guys think of the show. What you guys you guys can reach out to us on Twitter. Um, you can find me um, at Perspective on Instagram and Twitter. And Mark, where can uh, people find you? Uh, people can find me on Twitter at Marco Polo three one zero. That's Marco Polo with a K three one zero. Well, and like I said, hash, hashtag us. Uh, uh, go ahead and, and talk to us. And let us know what's going on. What you think of the show? We'll see you next time for episode two of Le of um, Survivor, and um, we'll see you guys. All right, bye.